Happy Saturday, witches. Today's card poll is from the Moonology Oracle card deck, written by Yasmin Bolin. Artwork is by Nix Rowan. Happy Maboon. Today is the first day of fall. It is the autumnal equinox, according to our witches' almanac, and the moon is in Capricorn. I'd like to remind you that because today is Maboon, the Serum Witchery staff will be out at the Fall Equinox Festival at Finnan honoring Hecate. We will be ter- returning next week on the 26th Tuesday. If you'd like to make a purchase and we are not here, please know that the staff of If the Broom Fits would be more than healthy, happy to help you with whatever purchase you need to make. Happy Maboon, witches, and on to our reading. Today's card poll is Full Moon in Pisces, Balance, Spirituality, and Practicality. Have you ever been so head in the clouds that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a more concerted effort to move forward toward your goal. The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Meditate on your question and the solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. Attune to the moon. Meditate every day and see what comes to you. Answers will come. Additional meanings for this card. You're in a super romantic, but not super realistic state. Follow your intuition. It won't let you down. At worst, this card can herald the end of a dream. The person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. Avoid substance abuse. The teaching. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings. When the moon is full in Pisces, or whenever you pull this card, it's time to dive deep into your emotions. Practicality is at odds with the numious Piscean energy that have no borders. So feel your way now. Psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears. Hey there, witches. My name is Shannon, and I'm the other half of Saren Witchery, as well as the creator of Our Cauldron Creations. Most of my life, I've had really sensitive skin, and over time, I taught myself how to make all-natural, limited-ingredient soaps, lotions, and more. I also believe very strongly that what you put on your body is just as important as what you put in it. In addition to the amazing essential oil potions that Anya already makes, we have five different varieties or scents and more are coming. We have our very popular milk and honey soap, which is made with organic oats for exfoliation, organic honey, and organic goat's milk. This soap smells amazing and has such an amazingly rich lather. We also have our Kayam and Trouble Goddess soap, which was made with the Serum Witchery Potions, as well as a lovely moisturizing blend of shea, cocoa, and mango butter. If you're looking for a more invigorating and exfoliating soap, I'd suggest the Witch Wake Up with its organic coffee grounds, activated charcoal, organic honey, and all-natural goat's milk. It's what I use on my face every day. And I haven't had skin issues or rosacea flare-ups in ages. The most recent addition is what we're calling Demeter's Delight, after the goddess Demeter. It has organic goat's milk, as well as organic honey, and skin-safe mica for a little bit of sparkle. It's scented with a little bit of cranberry and grapefruit and eucalyptus. I'm also happy to announce that starting early September, we will have... A few new products arriving. We'll have our super moisturizing whip lotion and a solid lotion bar as well. We will also have a lovely whip sugar scrub that is incredible for moisturizing and exfoliating. I hope you'll stop by our booth at one of our upcoming events to ask all about Cauldron Creations. I would love to tell you all about it. Blessed be. 
Another upcoming event is happening today out at Finnan. We will be honoring the goddess Hecate, the powerful goddess of witchcraft and magic with rites and rituals. And because of that, Saren Witchery staff will not be in the apothecary. However, if you'd like to make a purchase, please know that you're welcome to come in and the staff at If the Broom Fits will be help, able to help you with whatever it is you need. On September 27th at 5 o'clock, live on our YouTube channel, we'll be having our question and answering session that we offer every month called Ask the Witch. If you can't make it to the live broadcast to ask your questions, please feel free to put your questions in the comments and I will answer them. If you can't make it to the live broadcast to watch it, that's okay. We will be reposting it on our Facebook groups as well as on our YouTube channel. We will be at the Harvest Moon Bazaar on September 30th from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Held at the Wingspan Event and Conference Center in Hillsboro, we will be a part of the Harvest Moon Bazaar, and I will also be teaching a Cleansing Your Chakra Through Dance Workshop from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. So I sure do hope that you'll come. It is a free event. It does not cost you to get in. So come on over, look at all the vendors, entertainers, and the workshops. If you want to be a vendor, you can sign up at paganfire.com. Another upcoming event that Sarah Witchery is involved in is Season of the Witch Marketplace. It will be located at the shop where my apothecary is located, if the broom fits. And there will be lots of vendors. We will have food trucks. The Dancing Witches of Portland will be there. So we sure do hope that you'll come and kick off the Samhain season with us. In October, from October 13th to October 15th, out on the Oregon coast, we're offering a Rediscover Your Inner Goddess weekend. This weekend is available for all levels. New, experience, doesn't matter. This weekend workshop will allow us to deep, deep dive to find our inner goddess. We will be having meditations, food, activities, as well as arts and crafts. When you leave, you will leave with a mirror that you have decorated for you and your inner goddess so that when you feel lost or disconnected, you can use this tool to reconnect with your feminine divine. The reason we chose October 13th, which is a Friday, is because historically, Friday the 13th was a day reserved for all beings to celebrate their inner feminine divine. Want to get registered? Check out our website, www.sarenwitchery.com. Get your tickets in. Spots are filling up quickly. We hope to see you there. Lots of fun. Blessed be witches. Another upcoming event that we have is our energetic warding class. This class will be on November 18th from 4 to 7 p.m. inside of If the Broom Fits. In this class, we will be learning how to protect your energetic body. We will learn how to make sure that we are not overwhelmed by other people around us <clears throat> and are able to do things like family gatherings, family functions, our normal everyday chores like grocery shopping. The tools that you use will be practiced inside the class and I really hope that you'll join us. The cost is $45 and you can register by going to our website or by clicking on the link below.